Mabuhay Pilipinas, we are greeting you from the Sands SM by the Bay Beach Volleyball Courts for our live and exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage of the Women's Open Tournament organized by the Beach Volleyball Republic. So after a pair of exciting semi-finals matches, we get to the final two matches of this two-day tournament and we will start things off with the battle for third featuring the tandem of Michael Morada and April Hingpit going up against the team of Janine Marciano and Bang Pineda. And after that contest, we will have the finals of this year's Women's Open Tournament featuring Alexa Maisek and Charo Soriano going up against the team of Beatan and Hupia Inc. Maraming salamat po sa pagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas, and returning to the analyst's chair today, the woman who is always in action, my partner, Gretchen Ho. It is so nice to be back here on the panel with you, especially with your Hawaiian shorts. <laughs> now on Just a different court, it. now on a sand court. And today, you know, we have witnessed a lot of intense and exciting matches from yesterday. In fact, yes. we had 20 matches yesterday to, to determine the people who will enter the semifinals and finals this afternoon. But before that, let me give you a little bit of background okay. about our group, the Beach Volleyball Republic. Um, it is so nice that we are able to air our games live on ABS Even Sports in Action. This is our first league in cooperation with them. And our advocacy is really to promote the sport of beach volleyball around the Philippines and to be able to go to different parts of the Philippines like Cebu, Bacolod, Cagayan, Tugigaraw, La Union, everywhere. And to be able to set up a beach volleyball court there for everyone to enjoy. And of course, this is just a start of good things to come but we can't end the year without featuring more beach volleyball so let's talk about what happened in the first two matches that we have today on ABS-CBN Sports and Action the semi-finals matches now of course the top four teams from both brackets advanced to the semi-finals and in our first semi-finals match today nagtagumpay ang tandem ni Alexa Maisek and Charo Soriano as they took on the tandem of Micah Morada and April Hingpit Yes, that's right Anton um, the, the tandem of Morada and Hingpit had no answer for the strong spikes and cut shots of Maisek and Soriano There were a little bit of bright spots there in the first set as we saw them struggle it out and cut it out and um, eventually lose the set to a bunch of errors. So in the end, um, the tandem of Maisek and Soriano gained their confidence and they were able to wrap up set uh, the game number one. And of course, in the other semifinals match, nanalo naman ang kumpunan ni Hupia Inc. at Bea Tan as they defeated the team that was previously unbeaten, Gretchen, the team of Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano. Inc. just dominant on the net, having six blocks, 15 attacks and 3 service aces for a total of 24 points. The tandem of Pineda and Marciano were a bit lost on the defense and you know they tried breaking the tandem of Tan and Ink through unexpected overballs and play shots but in the end the tandem of Tan and Ink proved to be too much for Pineda and Marciano. So in the finals it will be Maisek and Soriano taking on the tandem of Tan and Inc. And speaking of uh, Charo Soriano, she's also one of the co-founders mm -hmm. of the Beach Volleyball Republic. We will we were able to speak with her earlier today. Let's see what Coach Charo had to say. BVR stands for Beach Volleyball Republic, um, but more importantly, it stands for a group of athletes, a group of passionate individuals combining into one unit and growing and promoting the sports, the beach volleyball sports in the Philippines. So we're advocates of the sport. We really love playing beach volleyball. We love the lifestyle. We also love um, the sand, the, the feel of the sun, the feel of the sand on our toes. Um, and this is actually one of the first tournaments, open tournaments locally in the Philippines. So we're very much happy and we feel very blessed to be part of this. Also organizing this and playing in it. Such a blessing also. The biggest challenge I think would be the weather. Um, it's very sporadic right now. So yesterday we were playing the pool matches and it was raining heavily. And also um, there's the wind factor as well. But now um, playing this morning for the pool match, it was quite sunny. So I think there's a lot of adjustments when it comes to the external factors such as the weather and the environment. Yeah. 
Well, Gretchen, we were here yesterday, and in 15 out of the 16 matches that were played, it was raining really Pouring hard. Pouring hard. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're happy that the tournament went on and everybody was all up for playing. And right now, we, ha we are very, very fortunate to have very good weather. Yes, better conditions, which means better matches. Mm -hmm. And we will head to our battle for third. Of course, it should be a good one. As you mentioned a while ago, uh, Gretchen, Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano, they had not lost going into that final four matchup against Bayatan and Hupia Inc. I think uh, we have well ba a well-balanced match today because all four of these players are, you know, of the same height and they have relatively same a same type of game. Okay, so let's take a look at the tandem of Marciano and Pineda. Marciano and Pineda, as we know them, are both strong outside yes. hitters. They can both um, they can both attack, they can both defend, and on the other hand, Morada and Hingpit, we know Morada is a very, very strong attacker. Hingpit, on the other hand, is a setter who has a lot of experience playing beach volleyball. She has been known for her well-placed shots, for her strong serves, and I think we are going to be seeing a very, very tough match this afternoon. But in terms of being able to, to improve on their um, play this afternoon, I think we need to see Marciano and Pineda receive a whole lot better if they want to, to fight a good fight today. They have to be able to set up better because a while ago, Pineda was having quite a bit of a hard time setting up the ball to Marciano. On the other hand, Morada and Hingpit need to communicate a little bit more on the defense because there were a lot of spikes that they weren't able to get, they weren't able to cover. But um, they have to take advantage also of their spiking power because as we've mentioned, both of them are strong attackers and they just need to, to blend more and have better chemistry on the court. And of course, Gretchen, we have to take note that this is the second time that the tandem of Pineda and Marciano will face the tandem of Murada and Hingpit. They faced each other this morning at Nanalo ang Kuburan ni Pineda at Marciano 21-13 mm -hmm. and 21-15. And when we come back, they will go at it again in the battle for third here in the Women's Open Tournament of the Beach Volleyball Republic. Only here on ABS-CBN Sports and Action. You are watching our live and exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage of the Women's Open Tournament organized by the Beach Volleyball Republic. We are greeting you from the Sands SM by the Bay Beach Volleyball Courts. Let's meet the contestants of this battle for third match. April Hingpin and number one, Micah Morada. And on your left side, number two, Bang Pineda. And number one, Janine Marciano. You are looking at the tandem of Fanny Bang Pineda Fancher. and Janine Marciano. Bang Pineda, of course, is known for her high-flying days as a member of Adamson University. And Janine Marciano played for San Beda College, was one of the high-scoring spikers of the NCAA. On the other side, though, we have April Hingpit, who was a graduate of the University of St. LaSalle in Macola, the that you know very well, one of your idols from FEU, Micah Morada. And to mention, Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano have been teammates in the Cagayan Valley team. So they know a little bit more about April each other. Hingpit. On the other hand, Micah Morada and Hingpit playing for the first time together in this first ever BVR Open. So that is definitely an advantage, the familiarity between teammates. Marciano and Pineda having the advantage right there as they get a Janine point Marciano. as Morada was unable to get that ball over the net. Now normally, Gretchen, when you select a partner in beach volleyball, what are some of the attributes that you look for? Is that depending on your playing style when it comes to the partner that you choose? I think you have to choose a partner who complements your playing style. Okay. For example, you can't pair a center, a middle blocker and a middle blocker together. You mm -hmm. have to get um, a defender and a hitter because you have to be able to complement each other 
um, your weaknesses has to be your partner's strengths and you have to work together you have to be able to train also for some time before being able to, to perform at your best because that's important the chemistry the syncing and the communication between each other. Hi, Dini Gretchen. Ano ba yung magandang position na maging tandem? Setter ba and spiker? In your opinion? Ang magandang position siguro, gitna tsaka hitter. Okay. Or pwede ring gitna tsaka libero. Mm -hmm. Or pwede ring setter, outside hitter. Pero depende na rin kasi yun. Hindi naman siya nakabase sa position. Minsan, kung ano yung strengths mo and weaknesses mo as a player, you can be a middle blocker but you can also be very good at defending. So it really depends on what skill sets you have. Alright, let's talk then about the tandem of Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano. We both know they're high-scoring players. Inaasahan sila ng kanika nila mga kopunan. But Bang Pineda, after graduating from Adamson University, started playing a different position, the libero position. Mm -hmm. I think that's an advantage for her because she knows how to defend well, to receive well. At the same time, she knows how to place her shots well. So I think the only challenge that they have is how to, to be able to communicate in terms of defense. Because a while ago, Marciano was always left at the net. Mm, and okay. she always left Bampineda to defend at the back, leaving a very, very wide open spot. So it's just a matter of balancing that. But that was because a while ago, they also had to defend against a very tall Hupia Inc. Yes. Who they had trouble with. So now, because we have quite an even game, I think we're going to see a much closer match. The tandem of Marciano and Pineda are actually the smallest uh, team here in this tournament. 5-6 si Marciano, 5-4. Si Bang Pineda now looking at the tandem of Hingpit and Morada, they are both standing at five foot seven. Now, what do you think about this tandem of Hingpit and Morada? What do you think went wrong in their semifinals match against Maisek and Soriano? A while ago, they there were a lot of attacks that they weren't able to defend because they were just looking at each other. Mm -hmm. So it's more of communication and also moving, being able to know how to um, wh where to go if your partner goes to this part of the court and where to defend. But right now, since they're, as you play more games, you to get a, a better feel of your partner. So I think, you know, with, with the whole setup, we're going to see a better game from the tandem of Morada and Hingpit. And they also want revenge dahil nga natalo sila sa tandem ni Pineda and Marciano this morning, 21 to 13, 21 to 15. Another advantage of the Hingpit Morada tandem is that Hingpit is a very, very smart hitter. She knows where to place the ball. She doesn't need to get a setup from her partner. She immediately brings the ball over on a second touch. And that was just what we saw on the last play. Morada, Hingpit on Speaking the second of which, touch. Another over ball from Hingpit. Bang Pineda with a smart move right there. Finding the open spot, Morada was not able to get to that volleyball in time. A while ago, Bang Pineda was having a hard time with her cut shots, always hitting the net every time, but you know, it's just a matter of being able to practice it over and over and getting a feel of the sand court, the ball, and how much power you should put in at that time. Speaking of power, nagkulang sa power si Maika Morada sa palu na yun. Switch sides. Yeah, naman, we switch sides. Let's also orient the beach volleyball fans. Uh, kaya po nag, nagpapalit ng side. Every multiple of seven, that's when the players switch sides on the beach volleyball court. And the first two sets are played up to 21. And if the match goes to a third and final set, hanggang 15 lang po. Another battle at the net. And this time we have a net. Touch from Janine Marciano. Tight matchup we are witnessing so far. 8 to 7 ang ating talaan. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagtutok sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action on Ton Rojas alongside Gretchen Ho. And you can check out the games via live streaming on sports.abs-cbn.com slash livestream slash BVR. A very smart drop ball from Janine Marciano. Nakita niya na si Maika ay uh, nakatayo at nanunood. <laughs> Medyo maswerte tayo ngayon dahil walang hangin, hindi malakas ang hangin. Medyo nag-iiba kasi yung takbo ng bola kapag uh, may hangin dito sa SM by the Bay. And medyo...
partial din kasi yung hangin dito. Nagagaling lang siya from one side. Yes. So there is... Because we are literally by the bay. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> there is a side that is um, easier to play on. So, hindi ko lang alam kung alam nila yun. <laughs> You know, definitely that is a big factor when it comes to playing beach volleyball. The weather, the the um, the wind, the sun, the rain, all of those play a big factor in the results of any match. Alam mo, partner, nakakabilib talaga because we were here yesterday and I was asking the officials, was it raining all day? And they told me, yes. The only time the rain stopped was after the 15th match. Imagine, the players had to go through that yesterday. Grabe talaga, ibang klase yung ulan kahapon. Pero we had a good crowd yesterday. Yes, yes. Despite People the weather. People stayed on. Mm -hmm. Another service error from Maika Morada. People score, braving 10, the 8. traffic, including yourself. 10 to 8 dito is naman our sa, tally. Dito naman sa beach volleyball, rain or shine, tuloy ang laban. Except kapag bumabahan na talaga. <laughs> so, a very tight matchup we are witnessing right here. 10 to 9 in favor of the Pineda-Marciano tandem. Marciano pops it up, Pineda on the second touch. And Janine Marciano Janine is able Marciano. to tally a point for her team. Her drop balls are proving to be very effective. Let's take a look at it one more time. Again, you are watching the Women's Open Service Tournament error. organized by the Beach Volleyball Republic. Technical time out. Sa Sani Puerza po ang um, BVR at ABS-CBN Sports para maihatid ang exciting beach volleyball action sa inyo ng live. When we come back, we shall have more of this battle for third only here on ABS-CBN Sports in Action. We continue our live and exclusive ABS-CBN Sports coverage of the Women's Open Tournament Live from right here at the Sands SM by the Bay in Pasay City. Thank you so much for joining us. 11 all is our tally. A competitive matchup, Gretchen, between Morada and Hingpit and Pineda and Marciano. That is right. We are tied now at 11. Pineda slams it off the hands of Hingpit. Yan ang sinasabi ko, magaling si Hingpit mag-over ng bola. Because she has a lot of experience playing beach volleyball, she knows where the opponent will go and when to place her shots. Outside. Error from Maika Morada. Here in the game of beach volleyball, each serve is very important. Each error makes a lot of difference. So you have to be very, very conscious about those errors, about your service, because those th those small points make a lot of difference in the end. And also, it affects players mentally when they tally a series of errors also. Strong attack from Maika Morada. And she ties this matchup once again. Great setup job by Hingpit. Nothing Marciano could do to stop that spike by Morada. Pineda sets it up for Marciano. Morada unable to send the ball back properly. So that's a point for the tandem of Pineda and Marchand. It's a neck and neck battle we are witnessing here in the first set of this battle for third. Morada skies for that hit. No one was there in that zone. Kanina pa yang tina target ni Maika Morada ang zone one. Maika Morada, of course, uh, we last saw her in the UAAP as the team captain of FEU. She traces her roots in Marinduque. Was also part of a championship team for one year. The last championship team, actually, of FEU. Back in UAP season 70, 2007-2008. Another point there for Janine Marciano. Over the drop ball. Maika Morada to add uh, last played her beach uh, last played the beach volleyball game when she was in college. Wow! But that was a long, long time ago. Marciano 
chasing that volleyball in Pineda. Pam Pineda. Smart move on the second touch, going for a drop ball and getting the point for her team. Pineda, on the other hand, seeing a hole in that area, targeting that for a few times over now. now Janine Marciano, uh, some people uh, have said that she's one of the most underrated volleyball players playing in the NCAA, playing for San Beda. But for NCAA fans, they know that she was one of the best spikers in that league. Very, very powerful in terms of uh, being an open hitter. She is known for being a high leaper. And also, she is known on the sand court. As part of the tandem with Cesc Molina, they have put up a formidable performance against the NCAA beach volleyball teams. And of course, uh, it's great that she gets to team up with Bang Pineda, who is no stranger to beach volleyball. She's a former beach volleyball champion and MVP for Adamson University back in UAP season 76 when she won the beach volleyball championship with Amanda Villanueva. The service Tana, is there for Janine Marshall. 19 to 14 is our tally. Stay with us right here on ABS-CBN Sports in Action for more of the Women's Open Tournament of the Beach Volleyball Republic. The action continues here from the Sands SM by the Bay Beach Volleyball Court. This is the Women's Open Tournament brought to you by the Beach Volleyball Republic and ABS-CBN Sports. Right now, we are witnessing the battle for third as we see Janine Marciano getting another point. They have found the spot. They keep on going to that spot over and over and over again. And my camarada, April Rosing Pitt, have not found a solution. Drop ball galore. That is... The formula of this tandem of Pineda and Marciano as they have arrived at set point. And Pineda and Marciano take it 21 to 15, and they are just one set victory away from taking third place in the Women's Open Tournament of the Beach Volleyball Republic. Nagbabalik po ang aming live and exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage ng Women's Open Tournament ng Beach Volleyball Republic. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagtutok ngayon. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas, joined of course by one of the co-founders of the Beach Volleyball Republic, Gretchen Hall. Gretchen, your impressions of that first set? The first set, um, it was a neck-and-neck -neck battle at the start. Both teams committing a bunch of errors on the service line. They were also um, attacking um, side by side. And in the end, Hingpit and Morada weren't able to defend against the drop balls and well faced shots of Pineda and Marciano. So I think it's a matter of being able to find their chemistry in terms of defense. Morada has to, be, to defend that spot, that, that hole that Pineda keeps on targeting. Um, Pineda and Marciano have found the hole in Morada and Hingpit's defense. So they have to find a solution to that if they want to emerge out as winners in the second okay. set. At syempre, Gretchen, napaka-importante ng communication between partners, especially pag napapansin nyo na kung uh, saan binabagsak ng kabilang kubunan ang bola. Morada also hasn't been able to find her groove, scoring just two points in the first set. One attack and one serve. Hingpit has three attacks, one serve, four points in total. On the other side, we have Marciano with five points, four points on attacks, one point on the service line. For Pineda, she has two points, one point on the attack, and one point on the serve. So pagdating sa puntos, si Janine Marciano ang nungunguna. Of course, uh, Bang Pineda's a popular name, Micah Morados, another popular name, but Janine Marciano proving why she's one of the more or most underrated volleyball players dito sa Bansa. She gets a service ace Narinig right there. Ka, Anton. Mm -hmm. Speaking of points, I think it also depends a whole lot on who the opponent is targeting in terms of service. The tandem of Morada and Hingpit have been targeting Janine Marciano on the other side because, as we've said, 
Pineda is yes. a libero. She's a very good defender, a very good receiver. So they've chose to target Janine Marciano, who is, quote unquote, the weaker receiver. Now let's see who Janine Marciano will target here on the other side. Will she go for Morada or will she go for King Pitt? She goes for Morada who receives that one. King Pitt pops it up to Morada. Drop ball does not work. Pineda was there. Here comes Bang. Did need to jump to get that ball across. That ball is so close to the net and it's sent across. Longest rally of the match so far and it is ended by Janine Marciano. I think Morada and Hingpit have to make their shots more unpredictable because they have been putting the ball where Bang Pineda is, making it easier for the other team to defend against those attacks. It's very important for Morada and Hingpit to stay within striking distance dahil do or die set na ito para sa kanila. Kung sila ay matatalo dito sa set na ito, it will be Pineda and Marciano taking home third place in this year's Women's Open Tournament of the Beach Volleyball Republic. Smart move by Bang Pineda. Mukhang uh, hindi sinasadya. <laughs> Was supposed to be a setup to Janine Marciano. But unfortunately, those things happen a lot on the beach court. And so you have to be ready for those kinds of shots. And if you're Bang Pineda, you will take the point. Looks like Maika Morada is having a hard time with her hits. Another error for her on the attack. Service ace right there. That ball just soaring over Micah Morada, who did not read that ball properly. The body language of Micah Morada and April Rosing Pit is not good. Well, Gretchen, they started this tournament 3 and 0 before losing for the first time this morning against Pineda and Marciano, and then losing again to the tandem of Alexa Maisek and Charo Soriano. So they are on the two match losing streak. But both teams yesterday were quite dominant yes. in the eliminations. So they were both I think three and zero yesterday. Today is the real test. Eleven to three ang ating talaan Pineda and Marciano on top, and that's gotta be the play of the day. Speaking of unpredictable, King Pit got a taste of her own medicine right there. And we have to see it once again. Look at the effort. Nabalikan siya. If you're a photographer, those are uh, one of the shots that you would love to take. Players diving on the sand to save the rally. Kaya nga sabi nila, napakasarap uh, mag-photograph dito sa beach court. But this is just the beginning of more Beach Volleyball Tournaments organized by the Beach Volleyball Republic. And you did mention, Gretchen, that you will be, you and your crew, your Beach Volleyball team, your Beach Volleyball unit will be visiting different provinces across the archipelago to promote the sport. That's right. We are planning to go to Cebu, Bacolod, Cagayan, Boracay, um, Tugigarao, La Union, Unido, a lot of places that is lined up for next year. So hang on and wait for that. And if you want to join, just email us at beachvolleyballrepublic at gmail.com. We're definitely open to all the teams who are interested to play in our tournament for next year. Of course, a lot of uh, familiar names participated in this year's Women's Open Tournament, players like Phil Cayetano, Denise Lazaro, Marielle Sinaban, Julia Antianco, Camila Banto, former USD captain Judy Caballejo also participated in this tournament. The UP tandem of Ariel Estraniero and Vina Alinas also played. April Romero and Rose Kailing, Rica Rivera and Cherry, uh, actually... Uh, They're both from Cebu. Rica Rivera and Cherry Rondina. Unfortunately, we didn't have them for this tournament. Yes. Which Although they were initially in the roster. Initially right? in the roster, because they didn't want to go to the hospital. They were going to be sick. They're also preparing for the UAAP, the upcoming and nearing oh, UAAP sir. tournament on February. And yeah, they're also former UAAP beach volleyball champions. And right now, our score 17 to 4. The tandem of Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano are in full control. This battle for third.
Ayan na, nakita natin. Uh, Nag-uusap na mag maglalaban sa finals, Gretchen. Uh, Coach Charo Soriano going up against Bea Tan. Of course, Bea Tan will be teamed up against, uh, teamed up with Hupia Inc. And Charo will be teaming up with Alexa Maisa. We are all friends here. Yes. Even though they're going up against each other later. Which I think is going to be a very, very good fight because all four of, the four of them are so competitive against each other. I, I was hearing the uh, the grunts every after every spike and, and the screams after every point, so I can't wait for that finals matchup. But right now, this tandem of Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano dominating the Morada and Hingpit side. The other side trying to catch up. Ayo pa nila matapos ang laban. Pineda looking for the open spot at the back. But too much juice on that spike. Long, long way to go for this tandem of April Hingpit and Micah Morada. Marciano popped up by Morada. Morada approaches for that attack there you and go. finds the corner. That is the Micah Morada that we know. Very, very strong hitter. Also very smart. And she finds the spot at that corner. Marciano decides not to reach for that ball as Bang Pineda gets a lucky break there. Medyo nakakarami na si Bang <laughs> sa setup na yun. Iba na ang veterano sa beach volleyball. Define veterano. <laughs> Champion, MVP. Yan ang uh, kasama sa resume nitong si Bang Pineda. Multi warded on the beach court. No doubt. Hingpit. Pineda could not reach that one. Hingpit doing a good job finding the open spot on that corner. Their errors killing them in this game. Panoorin natin muli. Ngayon, tumama sa kanto. April Hingpit. High risk, high reward type of a shot right there. She had the good intention though. Going again to that spot. Unfortunately, out. Match point para sa kupunan ni Pineda at Marciano. Match point for set number two. And they look to double up on their victory against Morada and Hingpit this morning. Again, the familiarity factor playing a big role in this match. We know that Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano have been and have played together and they look very much relaxed compared to Maika and April Rossi. And that will do it. The tandem of Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano prevail in straight sets against the tandem of April Hingpit and Maika Morada. So Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano will take home the third place trophy. We'll be back to talk to the winners of this battle for third. Stay with us on ABS-CBN Sports in Action. We have arrived at the conclusion of our battle for third match where the tandem of Janine Marciano and Bang Pineda won over the tandem of Micah Morada and April Hingpit. Ayan po ang ating mga set scores. 21 to 15 in the first set, 21 to 8 in the second set. And our very own Gretchen Hall is on the sand with the winning team. Gretch. All right, Anton, I'm here right now with our third placers for the first ever BVR Open, Janine Marciano and Bang Pineda. Una-una, congratulations. Mukhang uh, nag-enjoy kayo dun sa game na yon. Okay, so no first set, medyo dikit yung laban. Um, you were committing errors here and there. And nagkakapaan pa kayo. What was your strategy? What do you think gave you the edge in this game today? Um, I think, uh, in-improve lang namin communication namin kasi nung mga first few points, medyo nagkakagulo kami kung sino yung kukuha sa bola and yung sa services namin, may error. So, yun, nag-ano lang kami, nag-usap lang kami kung paano namin i-aayosin yung errors. Okay, alright. Itong uh, BVR Open, first ever ito, may plano ba kayong maglaro pa ng beach volleyball sa hinaharap? Nag-enjoy ba kayo? Makapalitan na ako ni Mickey. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Ano, may plan pa naman. Uh, sana ma-invite pa. So, siseryosohin mo ng beach volleyball or sabay with indoor. Kapag kaya, pwedeng sabayin. Okay, all right, congratulations. Siguro, panghuli, message na lang to uh, our viewers who are watching you right now, who are supporting you. 
for uh, your matches today. Um, thank you sa lahat ng sumaporta sa amin. Tsaka, ano, umulan umaraw, nandito sila. Ayun, thank you din sa lahat ng, sa lahat ng nanonood ng mga fans ng volleyball. Thank you. Alright, thank you so much, Bang Pineda, Janine Marciano. We are hoping to see more of you on the sand court. But uh, meanwhile, back to you, Anton. Thank you very much, Gretchen. Once again, congratulations to the tandem of Bang Pineda and Janine Marciano. Nagtagumpay kontra sa kubaran ni April Limpit at Micah Morada, 21-15, to 21-8. to 8. At sa aming pagbabalik, we will have the finals match featuring Charo Soriano and her partner, Alexa Maisek as they take on the tallest team on this tournament, Bayatan and Bupia Inc. That will be brought to you live only here on ABS-CBN Sports and Action.